This is a season for fever. Dengue fever, gastroenteritis, infections and inflammations, including serious diseases like malaria and etc. Children and elderly, they have very difficult temperature management program. They cannot manage the temperature of the body as efficient as others. So they may land up in trouble. When your body temperature goes more than 105 degrees of Fahrenheit, then a lot of problems can occur to the brain. Young children will get small fits, convulsions. So how to manage fever? You know a lot of tablets. Dolo 65, Paracetamol, Conpol, Crocin, Meftol, Dolopar. They are good. All of these different brands of different companies. They do work. But when they work, when the temperature is slightly less than 101. When body temperature goes more than 101, 102 like that, any tablet will not work. You have to reduce the body temperature physically. Cold sponging is the key for it. Put a cold wet pad here. If, if you get the sinusitis, you can treat later. First, reduce the temperature here. All body parts, arms, thighs, legs, abdomen, on your back, all areas do the cold sponging. Lot of time the sponging does not reduce the temperature immediately. You may have to do for a longer time. Sometimes till the temperature comes to 99, you have to do whole night. In most of the viral fevers, you require at least two days, three days to maintain this temperature physically. Once the temperature comes on, you put the tap. Then you investigate, find out why the fever is. So my dear parents of young children and other people, mostly people panic when body temperature goes high. Don't get panic. You maintain the temperature physically. Cold, tepid sponging, tap water is good enough. So at least 40-50% of the body should be leave a little bit of the chest, little sensitive. All other parts you wet it. And as temperature keeps on going, you have to keep on doing. It's a physical labor. One day or two days, so long temperature remains more than 100. Later on you investigate why this fever, where is the problem, your doctor can help. Do this at home.